You know what? It's just not Christmas without the one and only Dolly Parton. This is the premiere of her brand new Smoky Mountain Christmas. Welcome in. My name is Sarah Anderson, and we have a full hour to laugh and talk and hopefully sing with the one and only, the icon, the legend, the queen of country herself, the one and only Dolly Parton. Let me give you a little heads up on what's happening. This is her last and final show of the year of the visit. It's your last chance to shop for her exclusive perfumes. She created them just for us here at H. SN, and now they are famous around the world. We do want to give you a little heads up our Black Friday deal, which is the original scent from above. It's heavenly, it's soft, it's beautiful, it's cloud-like, it's ethereal, it's pretty, it's sophisticated. Her very first fragrance she ever launched was right here at HSN, and here it is, sent from above. We have a three-piece set, includes the full-size Eau de Parfum, includes the full-size of the body lotion. You also get the Darling Symbol of the Heart, the Dolly Parton Ornament, all together, an incredible value, $84. It's the last day of the Black Friday deal. It's only $58, and we only have a few thousand of those to go around. So I just want to give you a heads up if you want to lock, your, lock yourself in on that one. It will be the last chance of the year, last chance to shop for any of the Dolly Parton fragrances. They're all selling out. And then she launched her brand new Smoky Mountain fragrance here on HSN this weekend. You are the first to see it. It's all about a Smoky Mountain girl, scenes from a front porch. It's about love and laughter and family, inspiring us to enjoy everything around us and to celebrate the moments that we will treasure forever with our loved ones. You are getting the full size of the Eau de Parfum. You're also getting the fabulous roller ball, so you can take your brand new perfume with you wherever you go. It comes beautifully boxed. It's $58.085503, also available on auto ship. But let's get her in here, one of the most honored and revered singer-songwriters of all time, 60 years of music, 100 million songs worldwide, always at the top of the charts. She's our queen of country, and now in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, congratulations, Dolly Parton, and welcome back to <laughs> HSN. So good to be with you. Well, thank you, Sarah. Good to be back with HSN. We've had a lot of good luck together, and we've enjoyed being with the people watching and calling in, so we're going to have a good time tonight. Like you say, we're celebrating. It's almost Christmas. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about. We'll have a lot of fun, so welcome to you, and thanks for welcoming me, and hello out there. 
Hello, everyone out there. And I do want to invite you to join our conversation. We are on my Facebook page tonight. So if you want to say hi or hello or wish Dolly Parton a Merry Merry Christmas or just tell her how she's inspired you over the years, go to my Facebook page, Sarah Anderson HSN. I also put a post on Instagram, Sarah Anderson HSN. If you want to be a part of the conversation, the more the merrier because I know you have a very loyal, a very devoted following, Dolly. And everyone's tuning in to see what will Dolly do next. You always keep us on our toes, but your brand new fragrance is just out of this world. So beautiful. And I love everything about it. I love the lavender scent. I love the beautiful packaging. And I, I love the story that it all began in your Tennessee mountain home. Well, it did. I love the idea of having something named Smoky Mountain because that's where I grew up. And of course, the Smoky Mountains are beautiful. And of certainly in the spring and summer, they're alive with all the great fragrances of the trees and uh, certainly with all the flowers there. But we just wanted to call it something special that would be dear to my heart as the people in the Smoky Mountains are. And so many of my memories are there. So I've tried to kind of in this Smoky Mountain perfume kind of create Create something that will spur a lot of new memories and other people, but kind of wanted to bottle a few of my own. So it's a beautiful smell. I'm very proud of it. We were very proud of the original, sent from above, and this one was sent from the Smoky Mountains. <laughs> I love that. And, and tell us how you captured the fragrance of the Smoky Mountains. Well, they talk about all the ingredients that you call them the notes. They're talking about it has tiger orchid, warm tonka, cashmere woods, and all of those high class terms. But to me, it just smells like all the beautiful fragrances that I remember growing up. It smells warm. And I think you said early on how it's like family and fun and the warmth of of what you feel. It just makes you feel, uh, it makes you remember things. Certainly me, when we were putting it together, it just smells like uh, all the different things that I've smelled, all the wonderful people that I thought smelled good, you know, in my childhood. So I used to kind of mash up all those mountain uh, weeds and things, the uh, honeysuckle and all those things that smell good to make my own perfume when I was little. So this doesn't have a honeysuckle smell, but to me it smells good and that's what we were after because all my sisters and I, and I have five of them, uh, we were always wanting to be pretty, trying to find all the berries and all the things that we could make ourselves pretty and mash up stuff to make us smell good. So it's only fitting that I would have something called Smoky Mountain, and it's just something I'm very proud of. And I really like the smell. It's different from oh, the other, yeah. but they're, they still remind you of, of me, and they remind me of so many things. I love it. It's very woodsy and yet floral. It's sexy. It's soft. It's feminine. It's kind of a natural sort of easy fragrance. I don't think it's very overpowering, but I think it's something that's going to linger. And I love that you get both the full size of the Eau de Parfume and you get the roller ball. So you have one for home, one to take with you or one to keep and one to gift. Or maybe you're going to want to keep them both. I will tell you every time I've worn this dolly, I've had so many people ask me, what am I wearing? And I think because it's a new fragrance, <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything else. It's not that instantly recognizable designer fragrance that everyone else is wearing. It's something really unique, just like you. Well, thank you. It does have a special smell. I don't like a sweet perfume. It's really not sweet, but it's, uh, it makes you think of sweet things. It makes you know your memories are sweet, but it just has a soft, sexy, warm smell. And like you say, it's, it just has a, a scent of its own, but it's easy to wear. It lasts a, a long time. I've been practicing with it for the last few days to really make sure that it smells good daytime and nighttime and that it lasts, and it does. So anytime I'm walking around and I get a little whiff of it, you know, like if my body gets warmer or whatever, and I smell that, I think, oh, I like that smell, as opposed to some scents that you have, and you think, oh, wish that would wear off, or I wish this would not be that. But this is not like that. This is really a nice one. And when I really, when we put it together, we, you know, we, we go through a lot of things trying to get the right mixture. And then when you, you just know it when it's the right one. And I thought this would be a wonderful, wonderful scent for the rest of the winter and come next summer and all that as well. So I'm curious to see what people think about it. And as you mentioned, if you don't like it, you got till January to send it back and send it back to me and I'll, I'll wear it. 
you know what? Everything you touch seems to turn to gold, Dolly. So anything that you put your heart and soul into, anything that you pour your passion into, I think everyone is going to absolutely adore and love and cherish. Uh, this is a full size. This is going to last you a long, long time. You are getting both the full size and the roller ball. The roller ball is already full of perfume, by the way. So you don't have to try to transfer that. It's just ready to go in your purse, in your handbag. I like to keep it in the car or maybe at your desk at work or maybe you've got a locker. Uh, just on its own, you're going to spend $58 just for the Eau de Parfume only today, because this is our final presentation, this is our final live show with the one and only Dolly Parton, we are giving you the rollerball as well. You can't even buy the rollerball separately. You can't even find this set anywhere else except here at HSN. So you're saving a bundle, but you're also getting something that I think over time it will really grow on you. You're talking about one of the most beautiful, inspiring scents. I love the story of you creating the fragrance, Dolly, and you taking sort of that trip back in time, back to your Tennessee mountain home. Uh, tell us about your childhood memories in Tennessee. Well, uh, many people know my story. Many people out there watching, I'm sure a lot of them are my fans that follow me around, but hopefully, uh, I'm sure you have a very varied audience that don't know that much about me personally or about my childhood. But I grew up in, in the Great Smoky Mountains in a big family. We were just mountain people. There were 12 of us. I got six brothers and five sisters. And so we were just kids just out there playing in the woods and the fields, just being part of nature. And we didn't have cars and trains and things to run us down, so we were free to roam around there in, in the fields. And, and with mom and dad, Daddy being great parents and just hard working country people, we just have so many precious memories of each other and our childhood and of mom and dad. Although they're not here now, they'll always be here in our hearts. So anytime I talk about the Smoky Mountains, not only does it make me feel warm and good, it makes my family proud of me and the people, my neighbors and friends up there in the Smokies to think, oh, I'm glad she named something after us, you know, <laughs> that she remembers her home and all, which I certainly do. But I just thought it would be a nice name for one of the perfumes that were putting out one of the collection so what does your family one, members you think of your new fragrance have you have you gotten their opinion well, yet well my sister I have some of my family that live here in Nashville the others all live in East Tennessee all my family still live in Tennessee but the, all of my nieces all of my friends are all saying you know what we want for Christmas so of course I got some extra boxes because <laughs> when we were going through it they always send me you know, a stock of things that I can have to give out and, and to test on other people. But they all love it, and that's what they all say they want for Christmas. That'll be easier on me because I got mine free. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to spend on them. <laughs> okay, what do the, the guys I'm in gonna, your family think? Did, they, did you run it by the guys oh, to get the, the men's approval? Well, I think men just love to smell women smelling good, don't you? <laughs> I don't think any of the guys in my family are going to wear this, but a lot of my gay fans out there do. They always love it, even when I had the scent from above. You know, I had a lot of guys saying, oh, we love the perfume. We wear it all the time. So I don't care who wears it. If some of them redneck boys want to wear it, that's fine with me. They might... Uh, you know, they might get laughed at if they smell too good wearing a beard and overalls, but anyhow, uh, I'm sure that all those East Tennessee boys and Smoky Mountain boys are going to love it. Not only that, but all the folks out there in the big world are going to, if some girl walks by wearing Smoky Mountain, they're going to say, whoo hoo, what's mm. that? Who's that? That's but right. seriously, it is a good smell and we like it. Oh, everyone here is loving it, by the way. Uh, I just want you to know if you're even thinking about purchasing or trying or experiencing one of Dolly Parton's amazing fragrances, this is your only show to do it. This is the only show. This is the last hour. There's not any future presentation scheduled, and that's because we literally do not have enough to go around. If you want the original Smoky Mountain Eau de Parfum and Rollerball set, uh, already more than 9,600 have been spoken for. Uh, we only have a few thousand left, so you really need to make a considered purchase right now. Go online to hsn.com or give us a call. You can just find that item number on our website, 085-503. From there, you can decide if you want the single set or if you want the auto ship. With auto ship, you can 
lock in this price on future shipments, which is not a bad idea if you know you're a fan and you know you want more than one in the future. It may be another year before we get another Dolly fragrance. She launched her last one a year ago, and if you do want her very first fragrance called Scent from Above, let me give you a quick update because that is a three-piece set. This is her original fragrance that she launched last year at this time, and we have a Black Friday deal that's going to expire in about three and a half hours. You've got three and a half hours to lock in this three-piece set. It's 079213. We have less than 2,000. Fewer than 2,000 to go around. You get the Eau de Parfum. You also get the body lotion and you get the beautiful butterfly ornament included. So maybe you do both today. Uh, that'd be a wonderful way to get them both home. You can try them both. You can either gift both or you might be tempted to keep both. But now is your moment. This is the hour and this fabulous opportunity to chat with Dolly. So I'm gonna share some comments, Dolly, throughout the hour as everyone sort of tunes in and says hello. Uh, ben says, hi, Dolly. I've been a fan of yours for 50 52 years. I would love to meet you someday. It would be a dream come true. Merry Christmas to a true angel. Uh, Annie is here. Vicki is here. Linda says, Dolly, I just love how you are for all folks. I'm looking forward to watching you and Miley on New Year's Eve. I heard about that. You guys are doing a New Year's Eve special, right? We are. We're going to do it from Miami, and we've got a lot of fun stuff planned. You know, Molly and I are funny together. We, we're so comfortable with each other. And so we've got a lot of fun things planned. We'll be doing a couple of skits and some hosting, doing a lot of singing, having some guests. And so we've really got a, a great time planned. It'll be a wonderful way to, to kind of bring in the new year. And I love working with Molly. She's such a great gal. Wow, you have been very busy, Dolly, this year. I've had a hard time keeping up with you. <laughs> you have new albums. You did your amazing Christmas special, the Dolly Parton Mountain Magic Christmas Show. I had a blast watching that. Uh, you've been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So, so tell us a little bit about doing the Christmas special. Did you have a favorite scene or a favorite song? It was fun to see it all come together. Well, it was fun, and then going back again to the Smoky Mountains with the, with our perfume and with our special. This is kind of like a year that I, I think I must have felt like I needed to be home with my perfume and, as well as the special. But we did it all from Dollywood, which is a theme my theme park up there in the mountains. But we had a lot of fun doing it, had a lot of great guests on it. It's actually going to show again on NBC on the 21st of December, just before Christmas, the week of Christmas. But we had a lot of fun with Molly being one of the guests, Zach Williams, we had Jimmy Allen, Jimmy Fallon, Billy Ray Cyrus, and uh, oh, we just had, and of course, Willie Nelson, my dear, dear friend. We had those, They, you know, they were the g musical guests, but we did a lot of skits. It was kind of like a show within a show, showing what goes on behind uh, putting a show together. So there was a lot of comedy and all that, but it was just fun being home for like, the three weeks that it took us to do the movie. And so I got to see all my family and friends, had a lot of my family in the show, my sisters and my nieces, so, and sang a song about family. So it was just a great time and people seem to have enjoyed it. And one of the songs that I loved to answer your another part of your question, was a song that everybody's talking about. It's a song I wrote called Go to Hell, and it's about talking about Satan. You're like, go to hell, go to hell, go back where you belong. Get thee behind me, Satan, just leave me alone. You're a thief, you're a liar, you're a scoundrel and a thief. Go to hell in a handbasket, cause heaven waits for me. And then it's just, you know, all of the choir singing, go to hell, go to hell. Everybody got a kick out of that. It's a very positive, uplifting song, just about getting rid of the negative and kind of just being lifted up. So it's just, a, it was just a fun song to do. I love that And that, that seems number. to be the one, that, a lot of people are talking about that one. <laughs> uh, what you were wearing was also pretty amazing, I have to say. And I was so impressed with your dancing. You, you were all over that stage. Oh, well, I was doing my best. I'm not I'm not known for my dancing. But yeah, I enjoyed all the clothes. Steve Summers had put all my clothes together. Cheryl Riddle did my hair. So we had a lot of, a lot of hair and uh, a lot of clothes changes, as you saw. So I was very proud of, of them. But yeah, I was, uh, I was doing my best. Like I say, I think I'd do a little better singing and writing than I do dancing. But when you do a show like that, you try to, you know, you give it what you got. And then if what you can't do, there's somebody on the side that can help you along with it. <laughs>
Well, you looked amazing. Uh, you look fabulous now, and you do inspire us with your incredible, beautiful outfits and the, your hair and your makeup, Dolly. And I think that's what people love about you is that you always remind us to sort of be ourselves and find sort of our our inner beauty as well as our outer beauty. And with this incredible fragrance, you can kind of take that to the next level. You can you can try a new fragrance. Try something that's different. Try something that is unique. Try something that you're not going to find anywhere else. You're not like anyone else. You should be a one in a million. Dolly's a one in a million, and her fragrance is unlike anything else you've ever experienced. I can't wait for you to try this incredible new fragrance. It's the Smoky Mountain Eau de Parfum, plus you get the rollerball. This is our last show. This is our final full hour with Dolly Parton. You won't see her again for, gosh, it might be almost a year before she comes back with her next fragrance, but add this to your collection. If you are getting both, they both look absolutely beautiful next to each other. Uh, we are getting very, very low. The final quantities of scent from above. We only have 1,800 remaining. If you do want the scent from above, three-piece set. That's our Black Friday deal. That's almost gone. Uh, but if you do want to add it to your purchase of the Smoky Mountain, you'll have two full-size Eau de Parfums, two new scents to kind of experience and try. And I kind of think of fragrance as like another wardrobe, Dolly, right? We don't just wear one wardrobe. We don't wear one jacket or one pair of jeans. You know, we need a wardrobe of fragrances to like fit our mood or to maybe fit the occasion, right? I do believe that. In fact, I hope to have a whole collection. The scent from above was the first one. The Smoky Mountain is good. You, when we were talking about Molly while ago and you were talking about that rollerball, I was thinking I should sing, you hit me like a rollerball. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and add that to our <laughs> Smoky Mountain rollerball. But anyway, that's the little extra part there. But anyway, but yeah, I think we, I think fragrances are like clothes. You do, you don't want to wear the same thing every day. You might wear the, uh, something you like another day and it's the same like with the perfume because sometimes I like to swap them around and occasionally I'll still wear some of the perfume that I've loved through the years but I love wearing mine because you know people expect me to do it and even when I want to wear something else that I'm wearing that I like then I'll still spray some of mine on just so I can be true you know to myself and be true to the perfume but this is like these these are great smells uh, by themselves, but they're very compatible. I'm, I've always been one to you know kind of mix and match things. So especially these two because they have you know by the same people that put them both together and the the notes as you call it, they're all compatible. But like I say, they're great solo, but you can mix and match them if you want to. But we were talking earlier about it being the the season. And people can just sit on their butts at home and do your Christmas shopping because you can buy all these things uh, and you can have something for your sister, for your mom, for your aunt, you know, for your nieces, nephews, your nephews, if, if they want to wear it. But seriously, you can do a lot of your Christmas shopping right here on Home Shopping Network like so many people do on so many items that you have. But this is a good way to shop, I think. Well, we're, we're so lucky and we're so honored to have you, Dolly. We're, we're so thrilled because no one else has this Dolly fragrance collection like HSN. Uh, I want to read some more comments coming in. Dolly, Ilana says, my year has been nothing short of awful, but you are one of the many small guiding lights that has helped me make it tolerable. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Thank you for making me smile. This is from Joseph, Mrs. Parton. I'm so grateful for your humbleness and the example you set. You're so genuine and authentic. Thank you for being such an amazing human being. I love your products. Uh, Janet says, Dolly, I love your fragrances. I have them both. She bought Smoky Mountain a few weeks ago and she loves it. The bottles are beyond gorgeous and your fragrance captures the Smoky Mountain experience beautifully. Mark says, Dolly, thanks for being a light to so many people. You inspire and brighten my life. How does, how does it feel to hear some of those uh, comments? You know what? That is so heartwarming to hear all the sweet things that people say, and it just really makes me feel warm inside to think that I've touched people in any way because that's my purpose in life. That's what I want to do is to do good things and make people feel good. I want to have a good life myself. I want to feel good myself. And comments like that 
coming from the fans out there really do make me feel good. So it's kind of an, you know, an exchange. It's an even swap, I think. They make me feel good and I make them feel good and ain't that what we should all be trying to do to make each other you know, feel better and to lift each other up instead of tearing each other down. There's just so much craziness in this world and it seems like we just keep going this way instead of this way and we need to be doing a little more of this, especially through the holidays and I'm hoping that next year is going to be better. I, I do believe that people are beginning to to see a little more that we cannot continue like we are. So hopefully we'll reverse some of that and, and be able to be a little more positive. But coming from the fans like that, saying such sweet things, don't think I take you for granted. I do not. I do not take any good thing in my life for granted. I am grateful beyond belief for all of it. So thank you. Well, your, your philanthropy work also has certainly been incredible throughout the world and here in the United States. Talk about your imagination library. I know that's something that's near and dear to you. I mean, you're someone who keeps giving back. You have this amazing rags to riches story from denim to diamonds, and, and but yet you, you really are so passionate about giving back to so many people, so many organizations in need. I know this is one of your, one of your most important contributions is your imagination library. It really is. I'm very proud of all the things that we do, and I do believe that once you get in a position to help, you should help. I love the, the give and take of, of life. And so when I started the Imagination Library, I believed that I needed to get into something that I could truly believe in that would be important to me, as I try to do with all the charity things that I invest in. I want it to be something I can talk about, feel good about, and know that I'm doing some good. But the Imagination Library came from a, a very serious place in my life. My dad couldn't read and write, and all of his life, you know, he couldn't even he couldn't write our names uh, or even read them. But my dad was so smart, you know, he could barter, he could trade. I mean, he knew what to do, and he. I just wondered, you know, smart as daddy was, what all he could have been had he got an education. And he seemed to be bothered by that. So I wanted to do something to make my daddy feel good, and I thought, well, how crippling that seemed to be to him. So I thought, well, why don't I just start a program where we give books to children when in their most impressionable years, from the time they're born till they start school. And so I asked Daddy to get involved with me in that because I wanted, I needed his help and guidance because Daddy, guidance because Daddy is so smart, was so smart about so many things. And so we started the little program and I thought, well, maybe it'll do well, you know, in our little county, maybe a couple of counties over. But before you know it, the governor, Governor McWhorter, I mean, uh, uh, I forgot his name now, <laughs> Phil Bredesen, Phil Bredesen. We did have a Governor McWhorter back before him. But anyway, uh, Phil Bredesen got involved with me and he said, this is a wonderful program, so let's go statewide. We did. Next thing you know, we were in Canada, now we're all over the world, and we're almost about to give away 200 million books since the time we started. And Daddy got to live long enough to have have the kids call me the book lady, and he took great pride in the whole program. So we're putting books in the hands of millions of children. I did something good for my daddy, and so that's very personal to me, and I, I just love it. So that one will always probably be my most special charity. And what a difference you've made in so many children's lives. Uh, you've also won awards for your philanthropic work, and I know you've got many more, I'm sure, projects in the works. Let me give everyone a quick update, and I'll read more of your comments coming in. Uh, 10,000 gone, this is the last show. This is your last chance to shop Dolly, Parton, Smoky Mountain, Eau de Parfum, and Rollerball set. There's not another show scheduled. We don't even have enough quantities to schedule another show, even if Dolly was available. We're not gonna see her again for a very long time. It's, it's been almost a year since we've had her back from her first premiere, her first fragrance. So if you're even thinking about trying, experiencing, or giving the gift of the Dolly Parton Smoky Mountain Eau de Parfum set, I need you to place your order right now. It's on FlexPay, so you can have the next three months to pay it off interest-free. We take all major credit cards. If you want to send it to a friend, if you want to send it to a loved one, uh, which I think is a wonderful idea, it's like sending them a hug, it's like sending them that beautiful, gorgeous, floral, woodsy, warm, 
soft, sexy scent. It's feminine and yet it's casual. It's something that I think many, many people will love. Even if you're not a big fragrance person or you don't think that you like a lot of those sort of stronger perfumes, I want you to try Smoky Mountain because it just has this beautiful, gorgeous, ethereal feel that I just think will envelop you and really give you that peace and give you that confidence throughout the day that really does kind of take our inspiration to the next level. So we're down to our final quantities. Uh, the other way to purchase that is to give us a call or you can hold up your phone to a little, what we call a QR code that's at the bottom of your screen. You just hold up your camera app on your phone. You hold up that little phone to the QR code and it'll automatically take you to the website where this is available. hsn.com 085-503. They are going very, very quickly. After today, we won't have anything left. Uh, there will not be another presentation. So if you want Dolly Parton this year, 2022, jump right in and uh, maybe you keep one, maybe you gift one. If you're thinking about scent from above, I hope at the end of the hour we have some time for this, but it is also selling out, might even sell out before we get there. We have 1,700 remaining, and it's also the last day you can get that Black Friday deal. It's the Eau de Parfume, it's the full size of the body lotion, and it's the beautiful motif of the butterfly in an ornament that you can put in your hair or you can put on the tree or you can decorate around the house with that 079213 last call if you want sent from above I love the idea that so many of you are getting both uh, where you can do gift exchanges or maybe you get them home and you get all the all the all the family together and you can find out what everyone's loving and uh, I think I think that would just be a joy share with your loved ones Erin uh, says hello she says she loved the movie last week and her question for Dolly is her favorite song is Wildflowers. It's given me strength when I have not felt at peace. I sang it as a lullaby to my baby. And when you're in doubt or you feel uncertain, Dolly, how do you find a path forward? Where do you get strength? What? Well, I grew up in a faith-based family, so I always go to prayer. And when things are, you know, when things are bad, I pray. When things get worse, I pray harder. So I always have that, you know, that those memories of my grandfather's little church. So that's kind of where I restore. And so I have many songs that I gather from from our old church that I sing often when I'm kind of in a in a certain kind of mood where I really feel I need more inspiration. I just kind of go go to that. But thanks for all the sweet compliments there and the comments. And I'm glad that Wildflowers, that happens to be one of my favorite songs that I've ever written. I did that in the trio album with Linda Ronstadt and Emily Lou Harris. And they did some beautiful harmonies. But going back to the Smoky Mountains, it was kind of written about, you know, I grew up fast and wild. You know, I just never felt right in a garden so different from me. I, I just long, you know, it was like I was just wanted to be free. I didn't leave because I didn't want to come back or wouldn't come back. It was just like wildflowers don't care where they grow. So I've been able to go out of the mountains, travel around, and come back to the Smoky Mountains with a, with a eau de parfum. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know it's kind of wild, speaking of wildflowers, to think about it. Actually, Erin had a great idea. She said your next fragrance should be called Wildflowers. Well, that's a good idea. A lot of people don't like those flowery smells, but a lot of people do. So I might start, a, that's a great idea. Wildflowers would be a, <laughs> a good name for the collection. So I might consider that. I know a lot of people like a poem. I, I know people uh, say, oh, you know, I, my, I think most women want to smell good. But there are some that say, oh, I don't like that. I can't stand to wear perfume. I think I smell just fine. And I think, oh, that's what you stink. <laughs> Well, you know what? I, I, well, anyway. <laughs> I love that idea that no matter where we go, we can have a little fragrance, right? Because uh, you never you never know yeah. when you're going to have that moment where you're like, oh, gosh, uh, maybe you're going to run into someone that you haven't seen in a long time. Maybe it's a family reunion. Uh, maybe it's something that you have at work or you have in your office, you have in your locker, or you just have at home when you want to feel pretty every day. There's, there's not a day that goes by that you can't wear fragrance, that you can't feel beautiful and powerful and feminine. And it's still soft, it's still delicate. Let's go over the notes again, Dolly, for anyone who's tuning in. We can give you sort of the full tour of the incredible sort of floral and woodsy and warm and enveloping scent. It starts with the jasmine, right? 
Yeah, that's what I hear. I think they have some tiger orchid, some warm tonka, cashmere woods, I think, are some of the notes. That's what they told me, you know, that they put in them when they're putting it together. I don't know all that much, like all you girls that do this all the time. What's on your list of the other things that are in it? Oh, I've got warm tonka here. Also, the cashmere woods, uh, the tiger orchid. Uh, the orange flower also is sort of in the middle there. You kind of get just a little pick-me-up. I mean, it's it's an invigorating, almost bubbly scent. It definitely has a little personality to it, uh, but yet it's not too overwhelming. It's I think it's very modern, Dolly. I think it's it's very sophisticated. This this is not you know uh, a perfume that you would have smelled 10, 20, 30, or even 50 years ago. I think this is a way to celebrate that you've come a long way, that you've made it through another year, that you're taking on a new challenge, or maybe you're starting a new relationship. Because I think fragrance can do that. We, we have such strong memories when it comes to fragrance, don't you, Dolly? Like, I'm sure the smell of the Smoky Mountains, or maybe it's the flowers there, that just, they instantly take you back. Or you're, maybe it was your mother's cooking, right? Well, I think that's true. Yesterday, when we were talking about how, how this you know this scent can just really throw you for a loop, music and you know things that you remember, opening a drawer and smelling something you know from years ago, maybe your mama's perfume or or your aunt's or something you wore at a certain time remind you of a certain person you were with when you were wearing it. But I do think that it, it, there's just so much to be said about scents and, and music, and I just think that the combination is great. So certainly you can wear, wear this when you're going out to a concert or listening to music. But I love kind of, I love what you said that kind of touched on something. This uh, scent from above was last year, although it'll be good forever. But going into the new year, I think with this Smoky Mountain is kind of like you know, we want to kind of a rise up a little bit and kind of feel like we're a little freer. So this would be a nice smell, you know, for the new year. But I was just sitting here thinking when you were talking about something else, I was thinking, now since I have given, and I'm giving all this perfume to my sisters and my nieces and my cousins, when we get together, <laughs> together at Christmas, I'm <laughs> go we're gonna be able to say, you're wearing Smoky Mountain. No, no, that's the scent from above, no, no. And it's like, we're probably gonna kill each other with, you know, with all these perfumes we're gonna all be wearing. But it's gonna be fun to laugh about it, and I'm sure they're gonna all be so proud that we have a, that I have a perfume called Smoky Mountain, and that we're gonna all feel proud of it and hopefully the fans out there are going to love it and even the people that are not fans will love the smell of it and feel like that they're part of at least part of my family you know for a while i know we're it's going to be funny at christmas for us all smelling like this <laughs> <laughs> you know actually it might be the same in my family because my sister-in-law <clears throat> wants it my mother-in-law wants it i have sisters and and my side of the family is already asking about it so uh why not celebrate with your loved ones uh if you have sisters like dolly and i you probably still fight over clothes you probably still fight over jewelry <laughs> and, and maybe you'll fight over fragrance right just yeah. like just like old times i mean what would the holidays be like without your sisters and those wonderful kind of fun family gatherings. This is our last presentation. This is our last show. Uh, the last chance to have Dolly with us live on television. I don't want you to miss a moment. The set from above is selling out. Don't even know if we'll get to a full presentation. We have 1,500 remaining. You definitely wanna keep shopping for that one because that price also expires at midnight. And I would hate for you to miss another chance to have a one-of-a-kind fragrance. This is what Dolly Parton does. She spreads love and hope around the world. She's one of the most honored and revered singer-songwriters of all times. 100 million albums sold, 25 songs. Uh, number one on the Billboard music charts. She's won dozens of awards. She's not only a fabulous singer, she's an actress, she's an author, she's a philanthropist, and now she's an incredible part of our family here at HSN, and we're we're so thrilled that uh, she chose us to share her next adventure because, Dolly, I can't even keep track of where you are and what you're doing next. So, what's your what's your secret to finding that new creative passion everywhere you turn? Well, I just live on creative energy. I think, and energy begets energy. And I've just I've often said 
that I've, I have to keep working because I've dreamed myself into a corner. And that's the honest truth. You know, I've seen so many of my dreams come true and every dream kind of will spawn off into some other new dream. But I just feel like uh, I'm still part of something special and I feel like I have to be responsible for the things that I dreamed about and all the wonderful things that the fans and people out there have allowed to happen to me. So I really feel like that I'll just keep doing what I need to do and you have to be part of whatever you're doing. You don't want to just do something and expect the people to just go buy it without you telling them you're proud of it or that you, you know, why you're doing it. But anyway, I'm just proud of everything I do. And like I say, I live on spiritual and creative energy. That's what keeps me going. That's what energizes me. But I just love what I do. And I think if you, you know, if you like your job and love your life, then you don't, there's no such thing really as working too hard. Sometimes you just work till you kind of keel over, but then you rest up good and then you're ready to go again. Now, that's how I do. <laughs> well, you keep surprising us, Dolly. You keep us all on your toes. And uh, you do inspire us because for you, every, every decade, after 60 years, every decade, uh, you're taking it to a whole new level. And we love following you. Uh, let me share some more comments uh, coming through. Uh, Pam says, yay. Dolly Parton just ordered. I can't wait to try it. She really loves Set From Above. And she has many favorite songs. Me and Little Andy, Coat of Many Colors, He's Alive, <laughs> and There Was Jesus. Well, I love all those songs, too. I tell you, that song I did with Zach Williams uh, called There Was Jesus, we did that on the Christmas special. But we won a Grammy on that. It sold over a million records, so uh, I really think that's one of the most inspirational songs that I've ever been a part of. And I love that too. And me and little Andy, Lordia, that's one of those sad songs. I often joke about the fact that I've written a lot of sad songs and some of them are just plum pitiful. And that's one of those. <laughs> but people seem to like it because I write about a variety of things. I did not write There Was Jesus. That was Zach and a couple of friends of his, I think, that wrote that. But that's a great song. Oh, it really is. Uh, Terry says, Dolly, we love you. She has both of your fragrances. She loves them so much. Butterflies are her favorite, too. And uh, she says, you are an angel on earth. Merry, Merry Christmas. Uh, Rhonda says, Dolly, you are such a queen. I love your energy, your smile, and how you never age. Such a ray of sunshine. Happiest of holidays to you. Uh, Cassie says, my mom and I both have your other perfume sets. She bought this one today. I guess you could say I bought myself a birthday present because today's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Cassie. Oh, happy birthday, Kathy. Happy birthday to you. Hey, how yeah, about that? It's not every day that Dolly sings happy birthday. Uh, <laughs> and Lori is here. She says, Dolly is so awesome. I've been listening to her music since I was a kid. And my mom has been listening to her music. And, and that's what we love. Uh, I think throughout the generations, Dolly, uh, you have fans of all ages across the world. And, and yet, no matter what you do, you find a way to really welcome friends and family members of all corners of the world. And I think that really is your magic. Well, I really love the fact that I have such fans and I really realize how long I've been in the business when somebody comes up and will say, oh, you know, my mom loved your music. And then we'll say, oh, my grandpa loved your music. And then when they get into, my great grandpa loved your music, <laughs> then you know you've been at it a long time. But I have been blessed that I've been able to be in it a long time and then when I, worked on with Miley Cyrus on the Hannah Montana show, kind of introduced me to a whole new audience when I played the part of Aunt Dolly on, on the show, because she is my fairy goddaughter anyway, so we've been close. But since then, the children that, I, that were my fans that I got from that show, and then they're growing up, growing up, growing up, and so they just kind of follow you along, and I feel I have been so blessed, and I've been around so long, I think people relate to me because I feel like a family member. I've always been in everybody's lives for so long. Like, I started when I was 10, so I'm actually 76, so I've really been in it longer than you said. <laughs> so uh, it's just been a great life, and I love what I do, and I hope to continue to do it for another 76 years, at least. <laughs> well, we don't want you to stop entertaining us anytime soon. And I, I do want to give everyone a quick update. This is the premiere. This is the worldwide launch of the Smoky Mountain Fragrance. 11,000 gone here at HSN. If you're even thinking of a Smoky Mountain Christmas, if you want a little taste of Tennessee, if you want that feeling like you're sitting around on the front porch and you're 
with your family, your friends, there's love, there's laughter. It's that sense of home that really, I think, is evoked in every single bottle. We all have a home. It might not be the Smoky Mountains, but we all have a sense of where we belong and all the places that we want to go, and I think she's captured that beautifully. You're going to love these fabulous designer, gorgeous crystal butterflies on the top of every bottle. That'll give you, of course, a symbol of rebirth and renewal, uh, maybe taking flight or taking on some new colors. You also are getting the rollerball. If you want Dolly Parton's fragrance this year, December 2022, this is your last chance. There's not another show, there's not another visit. In fact, we don't have any more of these to go around. All we have is enough to get us through this hour. We'll give you a moment to place your order, and when we come back, we'll remind you about Scent From Above. So don't go away. There's more Dolly Parton coming up next. You love to gift. We've got you covered during HSN's Gift List Weekend. 48 hours of amazing gifts in cozy clothing, beauty, electronics, and more. Gift List Weekend, December 10th and 11th. Stock up on everything you need to find your Mary. From festive holiday decor to great gifts. And get free shipping when you spend $75. Visit hsn.com for full details. You can find everything you need for the holidays right here on HSN, like these beautiful colors. It was nothing. Want to find your Mary? Shop HSN. Thing I love about shopping at HSN for the holidays? That one's easy. Flex Pay. Flex Pay is like Santa's little helper. It allows me to get everything on my gift list and make monthly payments with no interest or fees. Even if you're on the naughty list. I got a gaming system for my nephew, a pair of funky boots for my sister, and a little something just for me. Flex Pay allows me to be the best gift giver I can be without the worries of paying for all of my holiday shopping at once. Every budget needs a little flex during the holidays. No, it's not Christmas without Dolly Parton in the house here at HSN. Are you ready for a little Smoky Mountain Christmas? It's a brand new fragrance. It's the premiere. It's the launch. It's the debut. And unfortunately, it's the last hour. It's the last show. We'll remind you about our Smoky Mountain fragrance because that is going very, very quickly. If you're already loving and shopping our Black Friday deal, this is her very first scent. This is the original scent from above. She created this exactly a year ago. It's a beautiful world of Dolly's heavenly, soft, beautiful, almost cloud-like fragrances. It's sophisticated. It's very feminine. It has wonderful top notes of mandarin and crisp pear and peony blossom. There's jasmine. There's lily of the valley, vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli. It's not overpowering, but boy, is it long-lasting. You do get a three-piece set of the Dolly Parton fragrance set. Here's a little tour of the notes. You can kind of imagine. Imagine this wonderful harmony, of course, this beautiful symphony of the notes that all come together, just like her music. It's this beautiful and exotic and really extraordinary fragrance. It's not like anything else you've ever tried. Already a fan favorite, already a customer pick. This is our Black Friday deal, and this expires at midnight. Full size of the Eau de Parfum, full size of the matching fragrance in the body lotion, so you can layer you can do just the lotion, you can do just the eau de parfum, or you can put them both on. And everyone is also getting an additional butterfly ornament. If you add it all up, if you were to purchase all of these separately, you'd be looking at $84. This is an $84 box for $58 today. It's actually three gifts in one. Someone gets the ornament, someone gets the body lotion. Hopefully you keep the eau de parfum for yourself. So retail value is actually $102 if purchased separately. You're now getting all of it for less than the price of the eau de parfum on its own. We are counting you down to a complete sellout. Uh, we have sold thousands and thousands and thousands of these. We're now 1,500 remaining. So who's on your gift list? Maybe it's the person who has everything, or maybe it's that very hard to buy for family friend or relative. 
we have that available for you as well. So it's now the time to place your order or go online to hsn.com, whether it's the smoky mountain eau de parfum or whether it's the scent from above, you can't go wrong. Uh, Dolly Parton is with us tonight. Let's talk about scent from above, Dolly. Uh, this is so beautiful. I think it really captures your essence. And I know uh, the butterfly symbol is very, very important to you. And I love how it's sort of, I mean, through all the decades, we've seen images of a butterfly follow you throughout your career. Well, it's true. The butterfly is my symbol because I've, I've just been known for that since I was a little kid because Mama used to talk about how I loved the butterflies and how I used to get lost in the woods just wandering around chasing butterflies because they were so beautiful to me and colorful and gentle and I wasn't afraid of them. But I just think they, uh, they remind me kind of of myself. I just like to kind of get along, spread a little color here and there if I can. But I just uh, loved them always. And uh, when I was young, when I, early in the business, I wrote a song called Love is Like a Butterfly, and it was really one of my biggest hits. And so when I started my theme park, I used the butterfly, to it's called Dollywood, and I, I used the W as a butterfly with the colors. And so, of course, you know, I, I have my butterfly records, and I'll have my butterfly this, my butterfly that in different companies. And then uh, I thought, well, when we got ready to put the uh, scent from above perfume together, we had to have a butterfly as the top. So, of course, we went on with that, and of course, we're going to carry that on in all the collections of the fragrances that we might have through the years. I think we'll probably always have the butterfly somewhere on it. But, I mean, you can't hardly go wrong with a butterfly. Everybody loves them, and I just think they're special little angels mm -hmm. somehow. And scent from above, the reason I called it that is because I think it smells so soft and heavenly and cloud-like. And like you'd think if you could smell an angel, what an angel smelled like, that's what I thought that was. Uh, that I just think that perfume reminds me of that angelic smell that just, just soft and, and pure and innocent-like, but it's just a great smell that lasts. And I love it. Even wrote a song called Scent from Above about the perfume. Oh, I love that music. And of course, the fragrance is just completely mesmerizing. It's intoxicating. It's kind of whisk you away. Everybody who comes by, that we have a little sort of sample area of all the fragrances here behind the scenes, Dolly, and everyone always picks one up and goes, mmm. And then they go, mmm. And then, and then they're torn, right? They can't decide which one they like the best, whether it's Smoky Mountain or Scent from Above. They really do have two totally different personalities. They're unique, but I do think they're both worth trying. If you do want to get our Black Friday deal, this is the last chance. These are selling out. We started with uh, thousands and thousands of these over the last year. Uh, we're down to our final 1,300. Everyone is getting the full size of the Eau de Parfum. By the way, this is the only place that you're getting the full size of the body lotion. It's the only way that you can get the butterfly ornament. That's a beautiful kind of crystal faceted butterfly, nice big size, about three inches by four inches. It has a little clip on it so you can clip it to your hair, you can clip it to a belt, you can clip it to your tree, you can decorate with it or you can just put it somewhere maybe on your windshield or your visor in the car and just a little butterfly to remind you of maybe your transformation or maybe your journey where you're going in your life. So we're going to say last call on this particular trio. It's really like three gifts in one, Dolly, because you can keep one and gift two. Well, I think that's true, and that, like I say, they're very compatible uh, smells. Even if you've got one person in the house that's wearing one, one in the other, like we were talking about before, if you got, but nothing worse than dueling perfumes. You've been places where <laughs> all these women wear these strong perfumes, and it's like by the time you're home, you you've got a headache, you know, from smelling all the dueling perfumes. But these are very compatible. Like if if like I say, if you bought some even for a niece or a daughter, and both of you wearing a different one. They're very sweet smells, but they're also makes a nice gift. And it is that time of year to where you really want to have something pretty, whether you put it in the bag or whether you put it in a box, but knowing that you're going to have something that smells good too. So it's really a nice time of year to, to buy things like that. But I'm very proud of the Smoky Mountain 
Oh, de parfum. <laughs> I'll get a kick out of saying that. That's not very Smoky Mountain-ish to say that, <laughs> but anyhow, I like the title Smoky Mountain. But anyway, I, I really think that, uh, well, we know that people love the uh, scent from above, and I really believe that they're going to like this just as much, but for a different reason. They're slightly different. Of course, they're different, but they're, they're both good. Well, we have uh, so many vans tuning in to say hello. Uh, let me read some of these. Uh, Lori says, Dolly is awesome. I've been listening to her music since I was a kid. Uh, Meg says, thank you, Dolly, for all that you do for people. You are truly an angel. I've been a fan of yours my entire life. She owns both the perfumes. She's visited Dollywood and the RCA studios in Nashville. So um, that's so fun. Uh, Lori says, uh, hello, Dolly. I love the Smoky Mountains and I love the perfume. Can't wait to try yours. You look beautiful in purple tonight. Jen says, we love Dolly and all that she does for everyone. Uh, <laughs> and so it's really, it's really fabulous to hear from so many of you. Uh, Pam says, hello to Dolly. Wish her a very special and Merry Christmas. Uh, Jennifer says, love you, Dolly. You're so inspirational. And I think, I think that's what's so wonderful about these really are her very first fragrances. And in the 60 years she's been in show business, her very first fragrance was sent from above. So I kind of feel like it's a collector's item. It's a wonderful place to start. You can start your fragrance collection there. Of course, this is the only hour, the last hour of the year where you can get them both. And it may be another year before you see another fragrance. So wouldn't it be a great idea to kind of start a, a little Dolly collection? Cause then everyone can feel like they do have a part of your life and they, they do get to share in your passion and inspirations. Well, that would be nice. And I just want to take a second before we do run out of time to say thanks to the people that have been calling in saying all those sweet things, but to you and all the folks at, uh, at the Home Shopping Network or HSN now you call it, I just want to thank you for all the years that y'all have supported me and to wish all of you a very happy holiday season, a Merry Christmas and a great, great year next year and whether you buy my products or not uh, it doesn't matter I love you anyhow but if you do buy them you're going to enjoy them but I, I don't want you to buy them you know just because of me I want you to buy them for you and if you don't like them like they said you can you can send them back but I think you're going to enjoy it but I just wanted to thank you for for supporting me and all the things that I do and I try to give things out there that I can be proud of and want you to be proud of as well so thank you for tuning in and uh, for ordering the perfumes and and I hope you'll enjoy them. Oh well, uh, we're so we're so thrilled to even uh, and of course be one of those amazing partners in your world, Dolly. Dolly, when I was watching your Christmas special, you sang that beautiful song, Pretty Paper. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that yes. song? Yes. I will tell you about that song because I love that song, Willie Nelson wrote that song and that was a big, big hit back when I was young. Willie and I knew each other since we were both young back in the Nashville days. We started out, he was a little older than me, uh, but he was, we were writing there at the same time and we worked at, we wrote for the same publishing company and recorded for the same record label. So I've grown through the years loving Willie. And so to have him on the show singing one of my favorite songs, I did a Christmas album a couple of years ago called Holly Dolly Christmas, and he joined me on that song. And then COVID hit, and we didn't get to do a special. So then when I got to do this special this year, the Mountain Magic Christmas, I said, will you come sing that song with me? And he was just there in no time in that bus of his at Dollywood. But just seeing him there, across from me, loving him like I had all through the years, and just knowing that that was just such a special moment that I would treasure for the rest of my life was just very, very special to me. Oh, it was, it was one of my favorite moments of the special, and uh, it was very tender, it was very sweet, and of course your number with Jimmy Fallon was like on the opposite side of the spectrum, right? It, it was so fun, you guys were so goofy, oh my gosh, that, that was absolutely hilarious. Well, I loved all the guests that we had, but Jimmy Fallon and I just have a, 
have a fun connection. It's just like one of those, from the day we met, we just had that thing. I had, I had a lot of that with Kenny Rogers, too. But Jimmy and I are like two little kids having fun together. And then we recorded a song last year, the Mariah Carey song in my Christmas album, All I Want for Christmas. And so this year, he had this new song. He said, would you join me on it? I said, yeah. Then we recorded it. And though he, so I thought, well, we got to do it on the show. So we did it as in the 50s where he dressed up in his leather jacket it and for those that didn't see it you still got a chance to see it on NBC on the 21st but anyway we just had the most fun dancing and in our little 50s look trying to look like uh, John Travolta and <laughs> uh, Olivia Newton-John <laughs> We I think you pulled it off, Dolly. I think you fun. did. Uh, so much fun <laughs> yeah. uh, to watch you sing. And of course, you are an icon, a living legend, the most honored and revered singer-songwriter of all time. Last chance, last call. If you want the three-piece set, that's the Black Friday deal. And then don't forget about the Smoky Mountain Fragrance. This is the launch, the premiere. It's the last show. It's the last chance to shop with Dolly for 2022. So sing us out, Dolly. Okay, well, I'm dreaming of a Smoky Mountain Christmas. One for you buy that Smoky Mountain perfume because I need the money. Anyway, seriously, uh, I'm dreaming of a Smoky Mountain Christmas for you having that in your house and sharing a Smoky Mountain Christmas with me this year. And wow. thank you so much for everything. Thank you for all the love, the laughter, the music, the smiles. Uh, you're an entertainer extraordinaire. The one and only Dolly Parton. Check out her fragrance. It's the last night, and it's the last hour of the year. I know you're going to love it. Have a great night, everyone. The entire network has given me the responsibility of wrapping up our big cyber week. And so we've got a really, really fun three hours together. We start off with the Dyson.